Hello everybody, my name is Luke Mar and this is Hot La Mode. And today on Hot La Mode, we are going to be reacting to some of the outfits from the most recent Jana wedding. Now, if you guys don't know, I recently made a video about Tana Mojo and Jake Paul's wedding and what I personally thought Tana should wear to the wedding. I mean, it happened this Sunday. You know, it was very interesting. A lot of people were calling a lot of things into question. My job is to call what she wore into question because questionable, high key, questionable. Now, I again, as I said, I made this whole video. I pretty much was like, listen, like do something crazy, do something amazing, like give us Tana in a wedding format. And the thing is like, listen, people can say whatever they want. I personally don't believe that this is real. I believe it's a stunt, which is fine. Like you wanna do that, that's great. Like that's how we all work. Stunts, you know, reality, TV, like that, that's the world we work in. That's how it works, fine. But if you're gonna do that, I would hope that you would take one of the major parts of a wedding, which is the wedding dress and or wedding look and make it amazing. And unfortunately for everybody involved, it was less than amazing. So, so less than amazing and actually hurts my soul. Before we get any further into the video, though, if you guys are looking for a channel that talks about fashion in the most fun, sassy, bitchy, analytical way, this is it, you move down below. Hit the subscribe button and turn on my post notifications. I mean, like, what do you have to lose? You're already here. And if you guys want to see more from me, you can follow me on Instagram at Hot Lamode. I post some pretty poppin' fashion memes and my Instagram stories are always pretty lit, so enjoy. Now, because I made a whole video about what I thought Tana should wear, I don't want this video to be like super long. I feel like, cause I said I would react to the Tana wedding looks, I felt like I had to, you know, keep up with the promise. But in reality, the looks were like so underwhelming and like boring that I was like, I don't even want to do this. Cause like, it just didn't feel like it was necessary, but I feel like some of you guys really, really wanted it. So I'm just going to do it for all of you. So first up is Tana and Jake. The thing is, it was very hard to see photos of this wedding of what they were both wearing. It just was difficult in general to like get a view into the wedding. And I mean like, listen, I was not paying $50 for a live stream. So <clears throat> imagine. So yeah, let's start with Jake first. So Jake is wearing this white suit. He's also wearing a black shirt underneath and this sort of like white top hat with like black band. In reality, it's awful because it's Jake Paul. So like you you just are like, oh, you douchebag. But for like most men, I wouldn't necessarily hate this. You know, like it's just, it's not something that I'd be like, oh, that's gross, that's disgusting. I'd be like, okay, like he's trying. Like it looks semi-decent. He's wearing a black Dior saddlebag as well, which is something that I was like, why? Like, listen, don't get it twisted. I love Kim Jones. I love Dior men. I think it's great. I just don't know like where the saddlebag fit into the look. Like, listen, I was at a wedding literally the day before this wedding happened. There's no real reason that the groom needs to wear a gigantic Dior men's saddlebag. It's really not necessary, you know? So that's a questionable choice. Also the umbrella, like you're in Las Vegas, sweetie. It's the desert. It doesn't rain. Let's, let's calm it down. We don't need to go like totally crazy Tony Montana. Like you're not Scarface. No, thank you. And also the glasses. Like, do you wear glasses normally? Like, do you need them to read? Do you need them to see? Cause if so, fine. If not, no reason you like, sweetie, listen, Coco Chanel, who we all know is problematic. She said something that is very, very good for certain people. Before you leave the house, take something off because this is so busy, it hurts my soul. Talking about Tana, this was one of the three looks that she wore throughout this whole wedding ceremony experience. This wedding dress is very traditional seeming. It, you know, really has a certain aura about it. Like she is getting married. It's very traditional wedding. I said personally in my video about Tana and what I thought she should wear, she shouldn't wear super traditional. Like if she's gonna wear super traditional, it should have some sort of like fun little flair. Like you're gonna get married for real at some point, hopefully. So like wear the super traditional there when you're getting married in a church or like somewhere fancy or whatever. But like, this is a YouTube marriage. Like give me the drama that I need and require in order to pay for the $50 live stream. Listen, if there isn't like a reveal, if there isn't some crazy amazing look, 
why would I pay $50 for a live stream? No, absolutely not. So the dress, I, like you look up close and you're like, <laughs> why uh it, it seems like it's crystal encrusted and it has this very like you know nondescript lace feature so you can see that in here there's a lot of like hearts and there's this sort of like floral you know motif and then it flows into this like grid crystal moment and then the bottom of the dress has that sort of floral motif lining it the dress doesn't really look like it fits that well because i mean like look at her vagina her vagina looks like it's collapsing on top of itself. And like, that's not cute. It's a wedding dress, you know, like not cute. Listen, I wouldn't want my vagina to be folding over itself in general, but like, especially not on the day that I am fake getting married. Then the veil looks okay, but also like, again, it's a very simple veil. It's, there's nothing really amazing, crazy going on. And like, personally, it's Tana. Like I want something crazy insane to be happening and that's not happening. And I really need to know why, like why? And also like, listen, I understand this is for like an MTV show, blah, blah, blah. But like, could you not just get like a white mic? Just, you know, the, the black little microphone in between your boobs. It doesn't, it doesn't help me at all. So yeah, that that's that. Here's another photo. This looks better. The, the vagina looks less crumpled, which is great. We love a less crumply vagina. You can definitely see, you know, Jake's do or saddlebag a little bit better. And oh, we can see a shoe choice here. I like the cuff pants. I like the cuff pants at the bottom. I think that's really nice. I think the no sock moment is also good. Personally, a boot, always. I, I don't understand why men like to wear flats. It's not helpful to anybody, but that's not what we're here to really talk about. Listen, it's underwhelming for me, for Tana. Like, I just expect a lot more from Tana. Listen, if you're gonna do it, do it. Don't do like this, oh, look at how sweet and innocent, like, you're the girl that did TanaCon and the rest of your controversies. Let's let's cause a little bit of drama, please. Then there's Logan Paul with these other men. I don't know. Listen, I'm like not a Logan Paul stan at all, but I do have to say, I think a navy blue suit always looks nice. And I don't mind a Nike being worn with it. And that's all I'm gonna say on that. This was the second look that Tana wore. She's being walked down the aisle by her manager, Jordan. So she is wearing this designer, Glody by Joanna Hernandez. They posted a bunch of looks that she wore. You know, she wore multiple looks. So that second dress was actually Glody. From the photos that I've seen of the actual dress being shot not on Tana, it's actually a very cute dress. Listen, is it very, you know, repetitive and reminiscent of people like John Batista Savali and Valentino? Yes, but like, I do expect better, but like also I really shouldn't. So this pink and white gown, which was meant to be this like crazy reveal situation. Again, I just didn't get it. Like you have two looks. There's no like crazy, you know, outfit change like Gaga at the Met Gala. Like I just didn't understand why we necessarily needed this second dress if they didn't like correlate. I felt like the looks didn't correlate. They were never like together. I wasn't seeing like Tana rip off the veil and pull, you know, the pink out from under her other gown. Like it just didn't make sense. I didn't get why there were two gowns because they didn't really correlate. Listen, if you're gonna do two looks, then like make sure that they work together in unison. You know, I do think like she looks pretty like, you know, whatever. She's not ugly, like she's a gorgeous girl. Great, love that for her. The look, semi-decent, but also like, listen, have I seen it a million times in my life? Absolutely. Not really worth it. Also like, who is this man with the headband looking like a nun? I don't understand why. I'm good, no thank you. Then there was the final look that Tana wore. It was this, you know, silver crystal encrusted look with a silver boot. And like, this was meant to be the reception look. Why? Like, why? Like, why? Like, why? there's no reason for this. Like, there's no reason. Listen, again, if you're gonna do like a reception outfit, make it white. It, like, it has to be white. It's a wedding, you know? Like, wear a suit. Wear something of interest, but this is like Tanaho but not interesting. This is like regular Instagram posts for Tana. And that's my like issue with this whole thing. And I'll like stop a screen recording now cause I don't give a shit anymore. If you're gonna do this, if you're gonna have a, you know, gigantic over the top, crazy, like televised wedding, turn a fucking look please. Cause I don't have time to waste my time sitting around on a Sunday evening looking for you to wear basic, boring, bitch ass, ugly, disgusting, reductive, redundant looks. It's not interesting. It's not worth anybody's time. Like if you're gonna get married for real, fine. You choose what you want for your wedding. I love that, live for that, for you. 
but you're making this a big deal. You're making this, you're talking about this on Instagram, you're doing this, you're doing that. I wanna see something that I genuinely can be like, okay, I love that, that's good, that's great, that's amazing. She's doing an outfit change, she's doing a reveal. Like there, there needs to be something of substance there. But there was nothing of substance there. There was a lot of shit substance. Diamond encrusted pieces does not make good at all. It doesn't make it interesting, doesn't make it fun, doesn't make it something that I give a shit about or that anybody else gives a shit about. Like girl, you could have turned it out. It could have been amazing, it could have been over the top, it could have been crazy, it could have been something that honestly we talk about for a long, long time. And listen, I've seen Tana do looks that, listen, are they camp? Are they over the top? Are they ridiculous? Are they like, mm, questionable? Yes, and I love them sometimes because honestly, she tries. She's doing it. She's working with young designers. She's doing things that are interesting. This was not interesting. This was not cute. This was basic and boring and bitchy in like a bitch ass way. It was bitchy bitch ass. And I don't love that at all. And also like, you had time. Like I've known about this wedding for weeks. I made a whole ass video about this wedding. You didn't have time to pull together interesting looks from anybody. Like you knew this was happening and that's what we get, trash. So that is the end of my Tana Rose. I just, uh, I'm so flabbergasted and floored and upset and hurt about this. Cause like, listen, I made that whole ass video and like, she didn't even pay me. She paid other people to do that wedding look, so. So yeah, please let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'd love to hear all of your opinions. I'm sorry for like putting another Tana video up, but I just felt like it was necessary to address. Apologies. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching and TTYL.